Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 5th of February comes to you from London and we start as always by looking at the dollar index and the dollar is hitting a bit of cloud resistance on the short term chart trying to get through on the price uh, so looking a little bit better but uh, still bearish in the medium and long term charts and we do have this downside target of 1.5% on the short term and of course this big now big activated target um, another 19% lower hanging over us and conversely the euro has an upside target of about 26% so um, we're seeing the euro dollar looking strong still um, bullish above the cloud we've got a target to 126 in the short term uh, Japanese yen we're seeing the dollar has actually recovered somewhat here the last few days uh, but the picture is still bearish medium term long term we might just be um, we're recovering there as well so interesting between the yen and the dollar sterling looking strong still against the dollar on the medium and long-term charts but short term we are just coming back um, so it just looks like we will see sterling a bit weaker this week looking weaker below the euro as well on that 60 minute cloud and we have a downside target of about one percent one dollar uh, one euro twelve uh, looking at against the Swiss franc sterling is weaker there as well against the Australian dollar flat at about 178 but looking quite strong medium term and the long term chart looking like it might make a transition Bitcoin down another 9% this morning um, we tweeted about this uh, if you follow me on Twitter at, at its Twitter handle is at charts today um, and if you look at um, the Bitcoin we've been tweeting quite a bit on that you can see here we're lower this morning uh, really still just struggling. Will we ultimately find some support here? Really hard to say. There's no clear signs of it yet. Uh, if looking at the uh, S&P 500, down quite sharply on Friday, as was the NASDAQ, also down quite sharply, US markets. NASDAQ had its biggest fall in a couple of years, uh, and the Dow also down. So we are seeing this reversal, uh, which, which we've been talking about, and the Russell 2000 also weaker as well. Uh, looking at the future, we're down a quarter of a percent this morning, um, and the Nasdaq E-mini down 0.16 percent. So it does look like those falls will continue. FTSE 100 down over 1 percent now. That's a big fall this year so far. A high of 7,800. We're now back at 7,350. So uh, really have seen a, a very dramatic uh, fall away of several percent there in the recent weeks and the FTSE 250 lower as well. The DAX also lower um, and its medium term chart also coming under pressure um, so that's quite key. The Nikkei looking stronger relative in relative terms weaker on that short term chart um, and down two and a half percent so very big fall overnight. Um, the Nikkei down over one percent um, so sorry the Hang Seng down over one percent so that's also looking weaker in the short term, unwinding some of its recent run. And the Shanghai market, uh, strangely up uh, overnight, but uh, still bearish below the cloud. The Indian market down uh, 1% and the Australian market down 1.5%. So some really big falls there overnight, driving the changes that we're seeing in Europe this morning. Uh, Brent crude <coughs> sitting at 67.91, just struggling to stay above this $70 level. So we're back into bearish territory here. We've got downside targets of 64 and 65, and if we look at WTI, much the same picture. U.S. net gas holding steady at about 2.86 percent, but um, uh, 2.86 dollars. But the interesting thing is that we're um, really just struggling with this volatility, and we're still bearish below the cloud. Going straight to gold, gold looking uh, still a bit bearish in the short term after Friday's dramatic fall off at the end of uh, Friday. We've got a downside target of some 3%, but of course we have activated this upside target now some 24% higher. So really a very mixed picture, bullish, <coughs> long and medium term, short term bearish and looking at silver much the same picture. Uh, taking a look at U.S. Treasury yields, uh, the 10-year bond now hitting 2.85% has been as high as 2.88%. Really, this uh, $3 level now looking like a foregone conclusion, um, which is breaking out uh, on the yield. So uh, U.S. market pricing and more rate rises still. Uh, Apple uh, fell quite heavily on Friday, so it turning just turning bearish uh, on the medium-term chart. And if we look at uh, Google... Um, also sold off and are dropping away quite significantly. Amazon uh, faring better and still bullish on all three charts and Facebook also faring better still bullish on all three charts. Microsoft just coming under some pressure on the short-term chart. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, 
Happy charting. See you then.